Hey everyone, it's D here from CoinKite, and today we'll be showing off our cold card cosign, where the cold card holds a key in a 2 of 3 multisig in addition to the normal signing key it has. It applies a spending policy like an HSM. Let's take a look. Before we begin, make sure that your firmware is at least updated to 1.3.2 to enable this feature. Now it's time to navigate to cold card cosign. In the advanced tools menu, go down to cold card cosign. Hit enter and you'll be given a brief description of the cold card co-signing feature. Cold card co-signing adds an additional seed to your cold card and enforces a spending policy whenever it signs with that key. Spending policies can restrict magnitude, velocity, address whitelisting, and or require confirmation by a 2FA. Assuming the use of a 2 of 3 multisig wallet, keys are as followed. A. Cold card, the master seed. B. Backup key, offline recovery. And C. The spending policy key, which we're setting up now. Spending policy cannot be viewed or changed without knowledge of key C. Hit enter and you'll be given a few options. We already have a multisig set up, so we're going to press 1 to enter in that key C. Now that we've entered the seed, we'll be taken to the policy menu. In this demo, we're going to set up a spending policy that allows 100,000 sats or lower to be signed by the cosigner. Select spending policy, then select max magnitude. Now we're going to insert 100,000 for 100,000 sats and hit enter to confirm. We've now set the maximum per transaction at 100,000 sats. You also have options like limit velocity, where you can only sign one transaction per day with this policy. This is one day by default. You can also whitelist addresses or add your web 2FA here. Once you're set up with your preferred policy and exit out of this menu, you'll need to re-import that key C to view or modify your policy moving forward. Time for a demo to see how this works in action. As you can see, in this transaction we want to spend 150,000 sats. As you know, this is over our threshold for our cosigner for 100,000 sats, so it will only sign one of the three multisig keys instead of two with the main seed and the cosigner key. It also shows you on the transaction page here that it violates the spending policy and won't sign. It only signs the main seed and not the cosigner. As you can see when we import, only one key is signed and not two. Now we're going to try signing our 50,000 sat transaction and see that it's underneath our policy threshold and that two signatures will be imported. As you can see on the cold card screen, we're signing for 50,000 sats and that there's no warning that our policy threshold has been breached. As a confirmation, once you hit enter to sign, you'll see CCC sign, meaning that the cosigner is signing as well as the main seed. I'm now importing the signed transaction back into Sparrow with the two signatures, and as you can see, it's been successful and we're ready to broadcast. Thanks for watching. For more information about Cold Card Cosigner or to make a purchase, go to coinkite.com.